Hey everyone, and welcome to Marquee Minute. For today's episode, we have Charles Esten. You may know him from the hit show Nashville as Deacon Claiborne, as well as other acting and singing songwriting. He's performed here at the theater before, and he has another show scheduled up in November. He's honestly a cool dude, and working with some really cool people, so I'm excited to share this conversation. Let's go to it. Hey Charles, welcome to the Marquee Minute. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty well, all things considering, right? Everything we say now has a little asterisk by it. I'm doing great, you know, considering. <laughs> Are you doing well? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, right, exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh, so what have you been up to is with, um, you know, with all this dot, 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 um, asterisks going on? Um, have you been uh, working on music at home? What has life been like for you these days? Well, I have to admit, I started off with this whole thing because there's various stages of it for all of us. It's not one whole time. I think we've all progressed through it differently. For me, I had just come back, literally had to come back early from the C2C Festival in um, London. I had already performed in Amsterdam and Berlin uh, for C2C and was getting ready to do my performances for London and Dublin and Glasgow. Uh, when they said, all right, everybody needs to go home. Uh, this thing's uh, getting out of hand. So we did. We went home immediately. And when I got home, I have to admit, there was a part of me I'd been going for a while that just sort of took it easy. Didn't write, didn't, didn't play, didn't, didn't do any of that stuff. Sort of hunkered down and was just being here with my family and being safe and trying to get the lay of the land. And then slowly but surely, um, when you're a songwriter, uh, little notes come in your head or a little a, a line of a lyric comes in your head and you write those down or you record the little bits I wasn't writing whole songs at the time um and I'm still most doing that but I have written since then uh, with my buddies from uh, low cash who I believe I met at the Franklin theater that's very possible I think I met them at one of those fantastic Jeffrey Steele fundraisers and um so the, I just wrote uh a song with them, which was uh, then Danny Myrick, which I absolutely love. So I've been doing that. On top of that, at a certain point, I decided uh, I wanted to sort of, everybody's doing the live stream thing. I wanted to do that as well. And I also wanted to help some charities. So I've been uh, doing a weekly live stream, the quarantine live stream from my basement and making about an hour of music and a couple interviews, a couple of duets that I do video wise duets and been trying to raise money for, I guess, uh, uh, a couple people. Uh, music Cares, obviously, is doing a fantastic relief fund for so many musicians that have been devastated by, uh, you know, this, not just the virus, but the quarantine itself has meant that so many musicians have lost their way of life for these this extended period. And uh, Music Cares, on behalf of the Grammy people, that's their organization, is stepping up to help as many as they can. It's a fantastic organization. And then for a couple of weeks, uh, my personal charity is the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. So uh, for a couple of weeks, they have a COVID-19 fund too for people, for families that are, it's hard to even imagine facing both blood cancer and all the chemotherapy and, and protocols that go with that and this virus and the financial effects of this virus as well so just trying to help out where i can there and then finally one of the most meaningful things of all is um, i work with musicians on call who are they're just incredible i've been doing things with them for six years maybe seven and what they do is they're this incredible group that gets uh singer songwriters people with instruments and sing a song um, into hospital rooms to interact and play with them. Um, I was um, incredibly blessed to be flown out by uh, them in Southwest after the uh, 91 Harvest Festival, the terrible attack in Las Vegas. I was blessed to go in that hospital and to meet with so many of those people that have suffered through that and the families and the nurses and all. Of course, now it's different with all the quarantining. We're not going into the hospitals, but but they, more than perhaps any other group, were already pre-prepared um, to go in there virtually. They had given iPads or they had set up, you know, closed circuit television connections with so many of these hospitals that um, I've been able to play for um, well, a couple of hospitals and uh, nursing staffs and uh, some patients. So all of those things um, at this time when it's just sort of world's going upside down crazy it means a lot not just to do it's not just busy work to do something that might help somebody might have a little bit of meaning yeah no that's incredible that is absolutely incredible and honestly that the, that's so much what we like talking about here is you know what are people doing in the community and man you just like blew my mind with all that stuff that you're going on with, with all those different charity organizations and 
all those ways that well, to be you're helping. <laughs> to be clear, they are the ones doing all the work. They are the ones doing, <laughs> doing all the work. All those charities. All I do is sit here, play a little guitar, sing a song or two. So um, they're the ones doing it. Oh, but it's all it's all appreciated, man. That that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So. I know we had we talked about uh, having a show possibly scheduled here at the theater with, with you uh, later on in the future. I'm definitely excited about that. Definitely excited about that. I believe we have them. Um, they're rescheduled to no November 7th and 8th uh, is the reschedule. And <laughs> and we have every reason to hope and believe that'll actually happen. And to me, that's just like a dream right now to imagine being back in the Franklin Theater and playing there is it's going to be. Look, I already appreciated it so much. It already meant so much to me. Uh, the Franklin Theater is obviously historical and deeply important to this Nashville at large community. I was first introduced to it, I think, in a couple of ways through Jeffrey Steele's event, um, which is there every year, I believe. Um, Nashville, the show, shot there, so we would spend the days in, in and out of there. Um, mm -hmm. Later, I would do my, I, I did a couple concerts there, more than a couple. Um, um, Charles Esten sings the songs of Deacon Claiborne and it was my friend <laughs> Colin Linden and I went there and we did the, those things sold out and it was gorgeous nights at the Franklin and the last time I believe I was there I was there my friend Callie Curry was premiering her movie Patsy and Loretta and so I have nothing but the fondest uh, memories of Franklin Theater and to think of being back there playing again that'll lift me on these darker days Definitely. Well, Charles, it is fantastic to get to catch up with you for a minute. Thank you for letting us go, a little, let us know a little bit what's going on in your life, and for sharing us sharing us some information about those charities that are doing such meaningful work. Like, it's just really cool to know about that. So, I love it that you're helping spread a light in this dark time, and particularly focusing on people who are working on spreading a light as well on these charities. Yeah. So, oh, thanks, thank Tyler. You, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everyone, and that's our show. Thank you so much, Charles, for being on the show with us, and thank you for sharing what those organizations are doing. If anyone is interested in how they too might be able to be a part, we have links scheduled at the end of the video, as well as in the description. Honestly, guys, we're a community show, so we love to hear how you're all doing and what's going on in your world. So if you have any thoughts, questions, or maybe you want to be on the show, hit us up. Let us know. Until then, remember, we're saving you a seat. Keep it going, and we love you all.